All right, guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. So, we've kind of give you an over, given you an overview in an earlier video. So we've got our hinge pin there. She kind of goes in like that, and yeah, what you'll see is see it'll leave like just a little bit of that. So then you can do that on either side okay see pretty simple there um now we're gonna do some of our super duper anti-seize loctite here I'm just going to put a few dabs, put a few dabs on these threadings, like so. Uh, I'm going to stand them up, upright, put a little anti-seas on the threading there as well, just like that. Once you got it sugar coated really nice. Okay, so now this is the tricky part, guys. Um, this is the part that I have not practiced because if you move the entire, see, I'm not using a stand or anything, but okay, Whoops. okay, so we just do. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do um, one side at a time, guys. Uh, you, when you watch other videos, the professionals do it um, quite sort of uh, seamlessly. But this is not the show for that. <laughs> um so yeah, we are going to do it like that, see, and it won't, okay, there we go, um, oh, that's a little too much, let's lift it up like that, okay. Um, there we go. That's precisely the amount we need on there. There we go. So now, guys, that's going to be stabilized there. Um, yeah, it was a bit tricky, but sort of, so, sort of this will be now your, like, halfway point. Okay. And there's two four mil... Yeah, you're just gonna go like that in against each other kind of get it as close as as much in tandem as you can and 
I don't know how many sort of pounds of force you want to apply to this. But just when you're feeling it tighten up. And that just can only be done by like experience, um, guys. So I don't know if I showed you guys before, but when we did sort of to this test, see, there was a lot of wiggle here. We have got not any wiggle there now. Um, so yeah, this one's tightened. That one's just gonna make sure we got it to to enough pounds. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, so see guys now, whereas before when you did when you lifted this. Yeah, there was a lot of wiggle in there. Now we are perfectly, perfectly straight. Um, and perfectly straight. Yeah, no wiggle at all. So yeah, this opens the bike and balances it like that. So when you're doing a quick uh, stand, that's how you would that's how you would sort of lock up um, your bike if you just want to kick stand it kind of thing. Because of course these Bromptons, you guys know, aren't really available with a kick stand because the the pedals are really long. And I'm not sure. I don't know if you could attach one to here. I'm sure you can, but this natural mechanism. Um, oh, and yeah, so guys, just to give you a little update, um, I'll probably do that in the next episode, but yeah, putting on, putting the hinge pin on is a lot simpler than what you guys have seen when I was trying to take it off. Um, we had to drill, um, you know, so like, yeah, I mean some videos um on youtube will tell you hey this is impossible don't try it they, you know some bike shops even tell you you know you should not attempt this to do this yourself go to a bike shop uh so you know i did so i, I went into a bike shop and they weren't even telling me weren't even able to tell me how much uh that would cost to do <laughs> all right so like you know i could do it myself um but i wanted the bike shop to actually do it i was willing to pay but the guy couldn't even quote me that he couldn't even know he didn't, he didn't have a clue um what time it was you know what i mean um so anyways guys there, there's my little rant for the day but this seems to be on very well and dandy so yeah uh in the next episode guys um i'm gonna give you a little update on um, uh, the final part, the tensioner that's coming in, and we'll take it from there. So thank you for tuning again in. Please like, subscribe, and share. It really helps my channel grow. So hasta la ciao.